Goron Village is hostile in terms of climate. It's a blizzard. Zora Hall is deep underwater, so that doesn't work very well either. Whereas Ikana Canyon is just there. So the specifics of the hookshot and going up or going down, that's more of a gaming thing and not so relevant in terms of an opera's plot. So that's not exactly much of a reason for concern. Well, they're not really distortions, it's just adding a second voice, which is defined as being at the interval of a augmented fourth. And, and that, that makes, makes it dissonant, dissonant and rather creepy. creepy. And if that singer is wearing a mic, that is easily controlled with a knob attached to any piece of audio hardware, uh, which is capable of transposing the voice of the singer and feeding it to the speakers. Now, opera singers are not amplified, this is an exception for an effect, and it will not be of help to the volume or to the projection of her voice. They will be removed because there's no good reason to keep an outdated version of something you made, especially if it might give the wrong image of what you intend your final product to be. Although non-operatic singers are used in some of the demos, they are definitely not the ideal plan, since demos are meant to show as close as possible what the opera can be. The mugging happened before the last three days, which are the plot of the opera and the game. And the Great Fairy is literally in pieces, so if Cafe ever went to the Great Fairy after being mugged, not only would it have been before the last three days, but all he would have seen would be the fairy in pieces, so no. Any characters that might exist other than the games will be part of a choir, because there simply aren't enough NPCs in Clocktown, for example, to build a decent sized choir. And as for soulless characters, there will be none original, because that defeats the purpose of the opera as an adaptation, and as a tribute to both the game and the music of Mr. Kondo and Mr. Minagishi. <laughs> 